Yellowstone Volcano Caldera map shows USA covered in volcanic ash after eruption. A Yellowstone volcano eruption could be the most catastrophic natural disaster to strike the modern world. Volcanologists have warned as terrifying Yellowstone caldera maps now reveal the true extent of damage the U.S. would suffer. The Yellowstone volcano rumbles away in the heart of the Yellowstone National Park, at a towering elevation of 2,804 meters. The active volcano is one of the biggest on the planet and typically rears its ugly head once every few million years or so. Volcanologists who have tracked Yellowstone's past eruptions 2 million, 1.3 million and 630,000 years ago, fear another eruption might be overdue. This is why scientists have attempted to forecast the extent of damage a Yellowstone eruption would incur today, and the results are terrifying. A Yellowstone eruption simulation published in the journal Geochemistry, Geophysics, Geosystems by hydrologist Larry Mastin, revealed upwards of one meter of volcanic ash would blanket areas surrounding the volcano. The study reads, We simulated eruptions lasting three days, one week, and one month, each producing 330 kilometers cubed of volcanic ash, dense rock equivalent. Results demonstrate that radial expansion of the umbrella cloud is capable of driving ash upwind and crosswind (NS) in excess of 1,500 kilometers, producing more or less radially symmetric isopacks that are only secondarily modified by ambient wind. Deposit thicknesses are decimeters to meters in the northern Rocky Mountains, centimeters to decimeters in the northern Midwest, and millimeters to centimeters on the east, west, and Gulf coasts. Eruption maps accompanying the study suggest not one part of the U.S., save the southernmost tips of Florida and Texas, are safe from ash fallout. The heaviest volcanic downfall would immediately cover vast swaths of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. Further out, the thickness of ash begins to decrease, but it is not until Texas, Illinois and Arkansas that the thickness drops to between 1 cm and 3 mm. The study published in September 2014, warned Yellowstone could create a nuclear winter of sorts by choking out the skies with thick ash. The resulting volcanic fallout could be lethal to crops and livestock, threatening to plunge the U.S. into a food shortage crisis. And the problems would not end there. The study warned. Ash fall thicknesses of centimeters throughout the American Midwest would disrupt livestock and crop production, especially during critical times in the growing season. This deposits could threaten building integrity and obstruct sewer and water lines. Electronic communications and air transportation would likely be shut down throughout North America. The study further suggested Yellowstone's eruption could be felt even further out beyond the U.S., leading to major climate effects around the globe. The last major supervolcano eruption of Tambora in Indonesia infamously led to the so-called year without summer when snow covered the U.S. in June and dying crops led to a severe famine. Thankfully, there is no direct indication the supervolcano is on the brink of imminent eruption.